Hey everyone, Mike here today, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my most favorite games that I own. Um, and this ranges from GameCube games to Game Boy Advance games, to, uh, original Xbox games, Xbox 360 games, and a couple computer games as well. Um, sorry if the video quality is a little bad or the sound quality is a little bad. I'm using my old Canon camera because I can't find my new Canon camera, which is actually my dad's, but I use it because I don't like my Canon camera. But... Oh well. So let's get started. Right, um, my first favorite game is for the PC. I really like this game. I thought it was a lot of fun um, playing it online. I met a lot of nice new people. Um, Counter Strike Source. This was a really good game. Um, it came with Half Life 2 Deathmatch and Dave Defeat Source. Um, at first, I started out playing Counter Strike. Great game. And then I moved to play Dave Defeat Source, which is right there. Uh, it's a World War 2 FPS. Great game. Um, really would recommend it. 30 bucks and you get 3 games, um, Half-Life 2 not so much, not not the greatest, but Dave Defeat Source is definitely worth it, definitely a good buy. Uh, my second favorite games for the GameCube it was also released for the Xbox and uh, PS2. It's an older game, uh, the creators of Hitman 2 made this game, so of course it was going to be good. Uh, Freedom Fighters, uh, definitely a great game, I love this game, I play with my friends all the time, beat a couple times, the cheats were even fun for, I mean... There are cheats that you'd shoot somebody and it'd pin the guy to the wall. It was great. So, Freedom Fighters 2. Great game. Definitely buy. I think it's like 5 bucks now for the GameCube, but I, not many people. I, even I don't have my GameCube anymore. I got rid of it. Rid of it. Um, another favorite game of mine is for the Game Boy Advance SP. Um, Advanced Wars 2. This was a real good game. Um, the only Game Boy game that I really enjoyed other than... Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon for the Game Boy was pretty good too, but I think um, Advance Wars 2, this one was a good game. Definitely a good game. It's pretty tough though, but that's okay. Um, Max is a Star Wars favorite of mine. Played in my friend's house, and I just had to buy it. First game I bought from my original Xbox, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Battlefront 1 was okay, but once Battlefront 2, this game just made... This is for all Star Wars fans. It's a great freaking game. Um, I mean, you get to fly spaceships, play as Jedi, and everything. Great game. I think it's only like 10 bucks too now. All the games are decreasing. Um, this game uh, is from my most recent system, the Xbox 360. Uh, it's a great game. I love playing it on Xbox Live. Not many... Well, a lot of people still do play it because Call of Duty 5 sucks. But Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, I love this game. Uh, this is the main reason I bought my 364. What else can I say? If you've played this game, you know how good this game is. Uh, this game is for the Xbox. I also had a copy of it for the GameCube. But when I upgraded to my Xbox, me and my friends love to play this game. So I bought it for the Xbox. It was only 10 bucks at the time. From Russia with Love, uh, one of the most recent Bond games. Um, next to Quantum of Solace. This was released before Quantum of Solace in um, 2005. Great game. Uh, real fun multiplayer. The campaign was great. It really coincided with the whole movie, which is good. So I'm hoping they make more of these kind of games, more based on the movies, like they did with from Die Another Day. and No, they didn't do Die Another Day. I apologize. I apologize. Um, the World's Not Enough and Tomorrow Never Dies and Quantum of Solace. Great game. Next is another James Bond game for the GameCube. I love this game. Me and my friends we just owned everybody at it. 007 Nightfire. This is a, a real fun game. Multiplayer. The campaign really sucked, but the multiplayer was something to play this game for. Uh, another GameCube game. Need for Speed Most Wanted. By far the best Need for Speed game that came out. So it's old. I mean, it came out in 2005, so it's four years old, but it's still a freaking good game. You cannot beat this game. This is the best racing game ever made. I don't care. Gran Turismo sucks. Um, I'm not big into RPGs, but this game really did get me. Tales of Symphonia. Um, I mean, this is a great game. Two disc game. Two discs. Over 80 hours of content. Um, it was a real good game. I really enjoyed this game. I thought it was great. I, I mean, I know if you guys have played it, then you know it's going to be good too, as well. So I thought that was good. Um, another computer game. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, my favorite Grand Theft Auto game. I bought this for the PC. I, I think I paid five bucks for it on eBay with shipping and everything. It was only five bucks, 
And I started modding the cars a little bit and just playing the campaign again. I thought it was fun. Good grim. Good game. Uh, another game for Xbox 360, Rock Band 2. Uh, I have the original Rock Band as well, but Rock Band 2, much better song list, as you've seen on my Xbox 360 video. This is a great game as well. And then, my most favorite game, Xbox game, this has to be in my top five, definitely. Halo 2. Halo 3, compared to this, is a load of shit, okay? This game right here is the game you want to buy. It's old, I don't give a shit, this game is the best. If you want to good, play a good game, this game was unbeatable. Unfreaking beatable. And last but not least, Grand Theft Auto 4. Another Grand Theft Auto series. Uh, I just played this game yesterday, actually, uh, on Xbox Live with my friend. This is a real good game as well. Um, what beats driving around, shooting random people all the time? Nothing beats that. Nothing at all beats that. Great game. So I hope you enjoyed my video of my favorite games. Um, I might be making some more videos on games. Not sure how to get achievements, stuff like that. I'm still debating on what I want to do. But again, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video.